The fall movie season is upon us, and one of the highly anticipated movies that's getting a lot of awards buzz is Crime Epic Amsterdam. It stars Margot Robbie, Christian Bale, Rami Malek, and many, many more. My dear friend from across the pond, James Longman, got to talk with some of the cast. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Amy. Star studded doesn't really go far enough to describe this movie. It feels like the whole of Hollywood is in Amsterdam. It's been in the works for years. It is finally here, and I got the chance to sit down with three of its stars. In Amsterdam, the latest outing from acclaimed writer and director David O. Russell. It's a long story, but with you two, it'll be a cakewalk. Three friends, played by Margot Robbie, Christian Bale, and John David Washington, find themselves at the center of a whodunit after witnessing a murder. We formed a pact, and we swore to protect each other, no matter what. Set in the 1930s, the trio worked to expose what's billed as one of the most outrageous plots in American history. If you had to describe this film in, like, kind of one sentence, it'd be very difficult, perhaps. It's a comedic thriller about love, loyalty, and the reasons to live in the face of shocking, untold history that follows these three gorgeous characters and all the crazy individuals they meet on an adventure to save themselves right. and more. Where is my eye, Harold? Right here. Yes. I never expected two decorated soldiers to get knocked out at my own home. The genre of this film, a lot of people have kind of been discussing, like, what is it? People yeah. decide it's a mystery, it's a crime, it's a bit of a caper, it's a bit of a comedy. Right. Could it takes you... a lot of comedy. I, I would say, look, a lot of David's films, the themes are about adversity in people's lives and how do they overcome it to keep being joyful and loving life and recreating themselves in every day uh, and being optimistic. The so-called crime epic is loaded with top talent, from Taylor Swift to Chris Rock, Mike Myers, Zoe Saldana and the legendary Robert De Niro. What was that like being on set with him? It's just an absolute pinch me moment, bucket list moment. That was the person I was most excited to be on set with. Well, of course, you know, an icon, but again, the humility, just uh, just taken aback by that. Who did you, working alongside of that movie, and you thought, oh my God, this is what they're like? Well, one thing I found uh, really profound was how you could assemble a caliber of actor like this. I mean, notable people that you've wanted to work with your whole life and there was absolutely no ego. Everyone was there to put their best foot forward for their fellow actor. The cuckoo is in the nest and the cuckoo is about to be trapped. Cuckoo. The other person I really loved in this film was Mike Myers. He made me laugh oh my gosh, so hilarious. much. Do you find yourself laughing in, in the moment, there on set? Oh, always. Get a dead white man in a box. Not even a casket. Doesn't even have a top on it. And I did find at one point, I've been chatting with Chris Rock for a little bit, and I love his stand up. And I realized that I was starting to do the scenes as Christian, big fan of Chris Rock. <laughs> and I was like, I've spent six years prepping on this character, and I'm going to blow it all in two days. So I did go to Chris, and I went, I can't talk to you anymore. I just can't talk. <laughs> do me a favor. Try to be optimistic. There's a lot of chat about how this could be in for some awards. It's a wonderful compliment, and uh, when you consider the alternative, you go, ah, oh, wonderful, because one day nobody will ever mention any of us in any of those, um, you know, regards. I find it one of the most uplifting, joyful, funny, and inspiring films that I've ever seen, and I've ever worked on. It's the only hope that we have to get out of this situation. Well, let's hope this goes well. Now, Margot also said the production actually got shut down by the police on the last day of shooting because their permit ran out. A policeman was actually moments from interrupting the final scene, but they pulled it off just in time at the last minute. Amsterdam is produced by 20th Century Studios, which is a division of our parent company, Disney, and it hits theatres October 7th. Guys. Oh, that looks so oh, really good, bad. James. Wow, and that was a great interview. Great Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.